So moving forward, let's take the next one that is question number 13. Small m be the minimum possible value for this term where y1, y2, y3 are real numbers such that the sum is equal to 9. At the same time, capital M be the maximum possible value of this expression which is involving x1, x2, x3 which are positive real numbers with the constraint x1 plus x2 plus x3 is equal to 9. Now the value of log 2 base m cube plus log 3 base capital M square is. Let's try what the question is talking about. We can clearly say that log 3 base 3 to the power y1 plus 3 to the power y2 plus 3 to the power y3 we have to talk about its minimum value. Forget about the log for the time being and think about 3 to the power y1 plus 3 to the power y2 plus 3 to the power y3 divided by 3 is greater than equal to cube root of the product. That means 3 to the power y1 plus y2 plus y3 whole to the power 1 by 3. Now y1 plus y2 plus y3 is given to me 9. So this is 3 raised to the power 9 by 3, correct? So here we are getting 3 to the power y1 plus 3 to the power y2 plus 3 to the power y3 is greater than equal to 3 raised to the power 3 into 3 that is 3 to the power 4. Next log 3 base 3 to the power y1 plus 3 to the power y2 plus 3 to the power y3 obviously it is greater than equal to 4 taking log on both sides. Can we say from here directly that the minimum value for the term 3 to the power y1 plus 3 to the power y2 plus 3 to the power y3 will be 3 to the power 4, correct? Minimum is 3 to the power 4. So here this minimum value is 3 to the power 4. So yes, the minimum value of this term which is a small m given to me, this will be equal to log 3 base 3 to the power 4 or simply 4. This is small m. Next, capital M we have to talk about. Log x1 to the base 3 plus log x2 to the base 3 plus log x3 to the base 3. Let's consider this expression first. Log 3 base x1, x2, x3. We can write in this fashion. We have to talk about its maximum value say capital M. Correct. Now we can again go with the approach x1 plus x2 plus x3 upon 3 is greater than equal to x1 x2 x3 raised to the power 1 by 3. Now the sum x1 plus x2 plus x3 is 9. So 9 upon 3 is 3. So we have x1 x2 x3 is less than equal to this is 3 raised to the power 3 that is 27. So from here the maximum value of this term is 27. Therefore m which is the maximum value of logarithmic expression is log 3 base 27 or simply 3. This is capital M and this is small m. Now go for the question part. Log 2 base m cube meaning 4 cube. So this term is actually log 2 base 2 to the power 6 which is simply 6. Next log 3 base m square. What is M here? Capital M. Capital M we just obtained as 3. So this result is 3 square. What we are left with? 6 plus 2. So what's the answer here? 8. Now the question is numerical value type. So the correct answer for this question is 8.00. I'm sure this part is clear. Let's move on to the next one now. Let A1, A2, A3 be a sequence of positive integers in AP with common difference 2. B1, B2, B3 be a sequence of positive integers in GP with common ratio 2. If A1 equals B1 equals C, then the number of all possible values of C for which the equality holds for some positive integer n. Let's try what the question is talking about. Twice of, this is sum of n numbers in AP, n by 2. 2a1, a1 is c plus n minus 1 into d, d is also 2 is equal to 
gp b1 meaning c 2 to the power n minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 this is clear so this 2 is cancelled now what we are getting c times 2 raised to the power n this term minus 1 is also there we will write it a bit later this 2 is cancelled this is 2n minus 2n next minus 1 is equal to this 2 is cancelled this n goes inside so this is 2n n minus 1 I am sure this is clear now from here we can get c as 2n n minus 1 upon 2n minus 2n minus 1 where c is a natural number n is a natural number now since c is a natural number so clearly we can say this term is greater than 0 now 2n n minus 1 it is greater than equal to 2n minus 2n minus 1 one thing I said this is greater than 0 other thing this numerator will be greater than equal to denominator so that we can get the natural number correct now when you try to simplify you observe n is less than equal to 6 just simplify you get the result n less than equal to 6 also we can see that c possible just put the values for n you observe that when you go for n is equal to 3 c is equal to 12 is the only possibility so how many such values we are getting just one now let's go for the question part it was how many such values are possible it is 1.00 i'm sure this is clear let's take up the next one f is a function from 0 to 2 to set of real numbers defined by this one if alpha beta belong to 0 to 2 closed interval and we have fx greater than equal to 0 equal to alpha comma beta then the question is talking about value of beta minus alpha let's try here if we just make a simplification option 1 pi x minus pi by 4 s theta option 2 just pi x s theta either way you can go for let's say i'm substituting pi x as theta keeping f of x only we can write theta also but let's keep it same not going to make any difference because later we will be going back to x 3 minus sine 2 theta multiplied with sine theta minus pi by 4 that is sine theta cos pi by 4 minus cos theta sine pi by 4 so for pi by 4 it is 1 by root 2 so this term multiplied correct minus sine 3 theta plus pi by 4 so this gives you sine 3 theta plus cos 3 theta upon root 2 now just simplify a bit this is 1 by root 2 times we can also plan sine theta minus cos theta as common why let's understand 3 minus sine 2 theta is evident here now when you expand sine 3 theta what you are getting 3 sine theta minus 4 sine cube theta here you have 4 cos cube theta minus 3 cos theta so clearly 3 sine theta minus cos theta term was there so yes minus 3 is there next 4 sine cube theta with negative sign 4 cos cube theta with positive sign negative is also outside so what we are left with plus 4 times we have 1 plus sine 2 theta divided by 2 so this is the result we are obtaining just simplify it further sine theta minus cos theta divided by root 2 now what we are left with inside just check 3 minus 3 cancelled so we are left with 4 next minus sine theta plus 2 sine 2 theta that is plus sine 2 theta now question says fx is greater than or equal to 0 it is given here in the interval 0 to 2 I have taken pi x as theta x is in the interval 0 to 2 so my theta is in the interval 0 to 2 pi this is clear all right so when I say this term is greater than or equal to 0 clearly this bracket is positive we have to talk about this term 
sin theta minus cos theta is greater than or equal to 0. In the interval 0 to 2 pi, we can clearly see by graph or we can simply check by changing it back to sin theta minus pi by 4. Either way we can go for it. If we change it, we write theta minus pi by 4, it is lying in the interval 0 to pi because we are talking about positives. That means theta is lying in the interval pi by 4 to 5 pi by 4 or simply x is in the interval 1 by 4 to 5 by 4. What is alpha? 1 by 4. What is beta? 5 by 4. What is beta minus alpha? 5 by 4 minus 1 by 4 that is 1. What the question is talking about? It is being asked what is beta minus alpha. So yes, beta minus alpha obtained is 1.00. I am sure this question is clear. Let us take up the next one.